Mom of Shannon Gilbert stabbed to death, daughter charged. I saw this headline on the news. I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. I'll give you a quick backstory. Shannon Gilbert was basically some prostitute that would hang out down on the very, 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 very south, south, south shore of Long Island in a place called Gilgo Beach. And that's where she comes from. Well, Shannon Gilbert was found dead one day. And they were claiming that she was killed. And they said, no, she died uh, accidentally or whatever happened. And the mother was like relentless and went after the police every day out searching, finding stuff. And if you remember on the news, if you're from Long Island, if you're not, then I'll tell you. Um, they found 10 bodies down there on Gilgo Beach in the wooded areas and stuff like that. Because typically the only people that go to Gilgo Beach are those that live there. It's a very remote area. There's really only one road in and out kind of, kind of way it goes. And um, if you need groceries or anything else... Um, if you need to go to, let's say, a home improvement store like Depot, Lowe's, or Walmart, anything like that, you got a trip ahead of you. It's not, you know, just a few miles up the road. It's quite a ways. So they found uh, a whole bunch of bodies down there, but Shannon Gilbert is all we would hear on the news. Every three weeks, something else, Shannon Gilbert, the mother is on the news all the time, all the time, all the time. And now her other daughter stabs her to death. Holy shit. We're learning more tonight about the murder of Shannon Gilbert's mother. Police say Mari Gilbert was stabbed to death by another daughter. News 12 Long Island's Eileen LaPalmer explains. This is Mari Gilbert with three of her daughters in February of this year. Wow, did you see that? Is Mari Gilbert with Wow. That's really cool. The other people are old and watch how they suddenly become young and colorful again. Daughters in February of this year. Wham. A news conference in which Mari was demanding the FBI investigate the Gilgo Beach serial killer case and the death of her daughter Shan Gilbert. Now, 5 months later, Mari has been murdered. And police say her daughter, Sarah, seen here with the black curly hair, standing directly behind her, is the one who repeatedly stabbed her to death. Ms. Gilbert had blood on her clothing, and she was detained by police at the scene. As we've reported, it was the search for Shannon Gilbert that led police to discover 10 sets of human remains off Ocean Parkway in the Gilgo Beach area. Police later found Gilbert's body in the marsh, but say her death was accidental and not connected. Okay, let's just take a look at Shannon Gilbert here. The mother was claiming, no, she's not a prostitute, no way. Um, I'll let the picture speak for itself right there, okay? ...to the other victims, but Mari Gilbert has always believed Shannon was also murdered by a serial killer and was working closely with attorney John Ray to prove it. She came forward, fought, and fought. In Shannon's case, Mary, from day one, was there saying, where's my daughter? And went after it, went, went looking for her and and stayed with this case when everyone discouraged her. Doesn't this guy look like he's ready to fucking do a tap dance? <laughs> As for why Mari Gilbert was allegedly murdered by her daughter, police in Ellenville say they... Now, look, look at the... Here's the daughter As that, that uh, stabbed Gilbert her. Was allegedly murdered by her daughter. You see them beady eyes? I mean, doesn't that just spell trouble right there? And... She had weird spellings for all the kids, too. Shananananan. And this is Sarah, but it's Sarara. Police in Ellenville say they don't know. They do say another daughter had called them to Sarah's apartment to check on their mother. Police say when they arrived here to 9 Warren Street, Mary's car was in the driveway. They then knocked on the door, couldn't get in. An officer peered in the window and saw a body lying on the floor. He entered the building um, and he observed... Um the daughter, uh, Sarah Gilbert, standing in the kitchen. She had uh, blood on her clothing. 
but attorney John Ray says Sarah has been dealing with schizophrenia and re Well, that says something. Recently drowned her own pet puppy in a bathtub in front of her son. He said Oh, drain drowned her pet puppy in a bathtub in front of her son, eh? Sounds to me like that extra R in her name is causing a lot of trouble. Drowning the puppy in front of the kid. Now, let's, let's think about that for a second, okay? Try to visualize this happening. I know it's kind of a gruesome thing, but try to visualize this. Then, look at that thing. You tell me. She looks like one of them Cabbage Patch dolls back from the 80s. As Mari went to the house to help Sarah. Sarah had been acting in irrational ways and she had actually been hearing voices and these voices were telling her what to do. One of the really important effects upon poor Sarah's brain and her spirit was the death of her sister under those circumstances. And Ray says despite Mari's murder, he will not give up on the Gilgo Beach serial killer case. We're not going away. The message is to those people, and I say people, not just person, who were involved in the deaths of those other girls, as well as of Shannon. We are continuing. We are not dropping the ball. In Ellenville, Eileen LaPalmer, News 12 Long Island. Sarah Gilbert is now charged with murder and is being held without bail. Attorney John Ray says if he represents her, he will use an insanity defense. I wonder if Sarah Gilbert killed her sister Shannon. It's entirely fucking possible. They never mention anything about that. But at least there's one less Gilbert around that we gotta worry about. And now with the Sarah thing, especially if she gets locked up, won't have to worry about her for a while either. Maybe they'll stay off the news and put up other stories about Audis, BMWs, and Mercedeses crashing into houses, killing people because they were busy playing Pokemon Go while texting somebody else and crashed even though the car has autopilot. And I know you like those. But anyway, I know this is kind of more or less a more local news story. Um, I don't always like to do those, but... This really pissed me off because these Gilbert characters have been on the news quite a bit over the last few years. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.